Hi everyone, welcome to another question on time and work. At their usual efficiency levels, A and B together finish a task in 12 days, which means that the work that needs to be done is nothing else but 12 times A plus B, where A is the amount of work A does in one day and small b is the amount of work that b does in one day. Now we are given that if A had worked half as efficiently as she usually does. So A, instead of doing A units of work, she did A by 2 units of work and B had worked thrice as efficiently. So instead of doing B units of work, B did 3B units of work. So together they did A by 2 plus 3B units of work. If they did this, then the task would have been completed in 9 days. So this means that the amount of work done in 9 days by A by 2 and 3B is the same as the amount of work done by A plus B in 12 days. This will give me a relative ratio of A and B and I would be able to solve any follow-up question on that. So let me try and solve this. What do I get here? I have 12A minus 9A by 2, so minus 4.5A is equal to 9 into 3B, that is 27B minus 12b which gives me 12 minus 4.5a is 7.5a 27b minus 12b is 15b or i get the value of a as 2b which means a does twice the amount of work that b does in one day so a is twice as efficient as b now let's look at the rest of the questions how many days would A take to finish the task if she works alone at her usual efficiency? So what is the total work to be done? That is 12A plus 12B. Now instead of B, let me use A here. So B would be A by 2. So 12 times A by 2, which means that the total amount of work that needs to be done is 12A plus 6A or the total amount of work that needs to be done is 18 times A. So if the total amount of work that needs to be done is 18A, how long will it take for A to do the job? It will take 18 days for A to do that job, which is given to me as option 1. Straightforward question, straightforward answer. All you need to do in questions like this is to form this original equation based upon the total work that needs to be done. If you get this original equation correct, then the rest of the question just follows. Hope you will be able to do that in the exam. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.